right now. More human smuggling, high-speed chases, and bailouts, bailouts happening all over the city of Lytle. So much so, the town is now changing its public alert system. Yeah, the city is adding specific notifications to their public alerting system. Our John Paul Baraja spoke to the police chief and those who live in the area. Scenes like this in Kenny County are a common sight. A human smuggling attempt turns to a high-speed chase and eventually a bailout of migrants taking off on foot. But a recent uptick of it happening in Lytle is concerning for those living in the area. It's insane. It's insane. And then they're plowing through the middle of town. I mean, just driving to a grocery store, it's like, pray to Jesus, I make it home because you never know if they're going to plow right through because they don't care. They do not care. The high rate of speed of the pursuits are only one worry. Another is not knowing who's on your property. We have land um, and it should be safe. It's fenced, but people are trespassing and I mean, it's it's really scary. The Lido Police Chief Richard Priest explains local crimes isn't an issue with most incidents they've faced, but an increase from one to two bailouts a month to two and 24 hours on a busy day is alarming, which is why they've added a bailout notification to their city push alert system a month ago. I mean, we notify them when the water pressure's low. We notify them when the weather may be bad. We notify them when they're going to be working on a road. You know, we need to notify them, uh, you know, in, in this scenario as well. This notification was sent out this morning, asking residents to be vigilant as 10 to 12 migrants were running on foot. The alert not just for those living in the area, but also for those running from authorities. We look for people. We try to see if there's anyone obviously injured. There's creeks out there falling a creek. Um, we didn't find anyone. Today's bailout ended here near this brush area on a stretch of I-35, not far from Benton City Road. But whenever they don't think that cross streets are enough, they'll include a landmark. For example, today's push notification included the Best Western. Now, if you want to sign up for the city's push alerts, you can do so by going to their website. And we'll also have a website or a link on our website, ksat.com. In Lytle, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, John Paul. A shootout overnight leaves a